Hi, uh, this tutorial I will cover friend controller design pattern uh, class diagram and sequence diagram. Uh, before watch this video, please log into my channel and watch friend controller design pattern introduction where I have explained uh, what is friend controller design pattern, how to use uh, friend controller design pattern, uh, etc. So, first watch friend controller design pattern introduction, uh, then come and watch uh, this video tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly. Uh, so, here this tutorial we will see class diagram of uh, front controller. Here uh, you can see there are four important components uh, involved in this uh, front control design pattern. Uh, first one is uh, client, uh, second one is uh, front controller, third one is dispatcher and uh, fourth and final one is uh, application controller. And this client sends a request to the front controller. So, we can write a front controller using servlet or JSP. So, what is the use of uh, this front controller is so it is a entry point for all, all the requests which comes to the web application and it performs the common operations like uh, authentication, authorization or uh, logging or tracking. So, once it performs the common operation, it may use uh, dispatcher to delegate the request to the application uh, controller. So, once uh, application controller receives the request, based on the request it uh, invokes the business logic uh, and the business logic will in turn uh, invoke the DO layer and DO layer in turn invoke a database to get information which is uh, uh, which is request, uh, required for the uh, corresponding request. So, that information uh, the business logic will collect from the database uh, with the help of DO layer and it will uh, given back that information to the uh, application controller. Then uh, uh, the application controller dispatches the request to the view. So, what this view will do is uh, it will collect the information from the application controller and uh, it displays uh, uh, in the browser so that uh, client can see that information. So, this is how uh, uh, this front control design pattern works. So, these are the classes uh, which involved in uh, front controller design pattern like client, front controller, application controller, uh, command and view. Okay, And command is nothing but uh, business logic. Next, we will see the sequence diagram of uh, front controller design pattern. So, you can see client, front controller, application controller, view and command. So, client sends uh, request to the front controller. So, the front controller what it does is it will perform the common operations like authentication, authorization or logging and uh, then it delegates the request to the application controller. Uh, so, for delegating the request it may use the dispatcher. Okay. And the application controller based on the request it may invoke uh, business logic and the business logic will in turn uh, uh, invoke DO layer and DO layer in turn invoke database to get the information corresponding to the request and it passes the information to the application controller. Then uh, application controller dispatch the request to the view you can see here. So, what this view will do is uh, it will get the uh, information from the application controller and it will display in the browser uh, to the client so that client can uh, see the information in the browser. Okay, So, this is how uh, uh, the whole uh, front control design pattern works. Uh, so, that is uh, mentioned in this uh, sequence diagram. Okay, And uh, this is about uh, front controller design pattern uh, class diagram and sequence diagram. And thanks for watching. Bye.